Hey everyone, so it's again me and it's time to start to build my second RV tent. So in fact I already started and I already have done some parts of the work. As I said in my previous video, I started at the same time with uh, all control surfaces of the uh, tail. So basically I start to work on the rudder, on the uh, vertical stop, horizontal stop and elevators including the trim tabs. So I just took all the parts, prepared them, dimpled, drilled, whatever it's required and finally I primed them a couple of days ago. So right now I have all parts ready to start riveting. And yeah, and by the way, Dennis, thank you very much for this bucking bar uh, which you gave me. I'm going to be using it quite soon and likely it's going to be in this video. That's for those of you who don't know that the bucking bar which is especially for the for the elevators basically to rivet the back side of the elevators which is well it's quite special tool let's call it like this yeah so that's a plan and while weather is below VFR or marginal VFR and I have time to buck uh, rivets I will do that as soon as weather gets better I plan to take off and fly my first RV10 because I still have lots of testing to do there so well let's start
today just want to make some shout out to Dennis Baker who shared with me this tool. Uh, well, yeah, he was so kind to share with me, uh, with me this tool. As you remember my previous airplane I was building without this tool. And this particular tool, or let's call it properly bucking bar, is a specific one, right? So that's not just the regular bucking bar, but the special one for the riveting of the front spar, or let's call it correctly rear spar, of the elevators. It has specifically angled here the part, which should, uh, which should um, by using this tool, you should avoid unbending your banded for specific angle uh, rear spar of your elevators. And this tool is very easy to use. Uh, well, it's quite simple, so you just basically insert it. You make sure that you, first of all, place your elevator on the bench, on the working bench. You put the rear edge of the elevator about maybe two inches from the edge of the working bench. You insert the bucking bar. Now you take the rivet, which is 426 335. You just basically install it here. Now what you do is first you set the rivet gun, you push. Now with other hand you just push on the bucking bar to make to ensure it's actually pushed against the rivet and you just rivet it. Perfect. That's it. That's all what you need to do to rivet the rear spar. Easy. Well, a little bit about flying of my new RV-10 airplane. Right before the IFR weather hit at our region, I was able to make a couple of flights on my RV-10 and basically complete some basic maneuvers such as stalls, uh, touch and go, steep turns and all, all that kind of stuff. Well, basically I was lucky because first of all uh, weather for two days in a row was great and second of all one of my buddies here he holds a CFI rating and he's actually well proficient in, in RVs and he has flown with me which is legal in Canada as long as he is CFI and he is PIC and he did with me those maneuvers because at some point I was need to calibrate my angle of attack sensor so he was helping me with that well and like it's it's more likely job for two um, for two pilots uh, overall experience so far is I'm very happy with this airplane like I, I can say more I'm really happy with how it handles how it controls especially after Piper, which is no doubt also a great airplane, the controls in RV-10 RV are way, way more sharp. So basically the control um, effort from the stick goes immediately to the control surfaces while in Piper, for example, it takes time to react. Even though it's little time, it still takes time to react. Well, this RV-10, it really wants to fly. I guess it's maybe not as uh, maneuverable as let's say RV9 or RV7 but it really wants to fly like it floats over runway despite its weight which is like what 2700 uh, gross so the next maneuvers which I have to do is the climb test I also have to do more stalls however I already figured all my stall speeds and uh, now I'm aware what to expect from airplane I tried steep turns uh, as well and it really stays very straight and uh, it holds the turn very well. I have a little issue with the left wing being a little bit heavy. Uh, I would say just a bit of heavy but I'm still working on that. So now, well, I'm just looking forward now to fly more my RV-10 and maybe fly someone else's RV-10 more. <laughs> maybe some other RVs just to compare but 
I'm really happy with what I have right now and in this video you can see we're doing some touch and goes maneuvers um, and again airplane is very sensitive on controls which I like that's 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 really cool so far good experience great experience I'm very happy with my airplane So where am I at this point? Well, uh, working on my um, tail con kit. Basically, have done already the horizontal stab, finished my rudder, finished my uh, vertical stab. Now working and finishing the trailing edges of the rudder and all of the um, elevators. Also finished trim tabs. Well, finish it's well so called. Uh, semi-finished because I still have unriveted some parts that is required for the Canadian inspection so before I can rivet those parts I have to show it to my inspector uh, well so that's in terms of the uh, uh, second RV10 which I'm building the next big uh, step will be uh, the tail cone and as I said before uh, that the my approach which I use right now is I get right away a uh, couple of parts. I prepare everything for a couple of parts and after I start start riveting. I found this uh, to be faster than uh, the original approach where I was working one by one on the on the um, part by part. But because I already have some experience, little experience in building of the airplane, so I technically know what I'm doing. At least I know I understand what I do. Um, Recently, Vance Aircraft just released a new uh, SB service bulletin for many models of RVs, I guess maybe for all models of RVs, for the elevator, uh, not for the elevator, for the horizontal stab hinges, like the cracks on the outer hinges, so I want to take a look into that as well. Uh, well, since my airplane is only like, well, less than 50 hours less than even 25 hours yet so it's probably not the case but i have to monitor that and i will likely need to install that service uh, ability and kit at later time but i will likely i will for sure install it for my uh, new build that's for sure yeah the weather is not the best unfortunately this spring is kind of this sort of weather which is like 1000 ceiling 800 broken or whatever 1500 ceiling 1000 broken so it's barely for circuits sometimes but most of the days well that explains why i not i'm unable to fly much now on my new airplane but i'm sure as soon as spring hits things will dramatically change so the rudder is ready the horizontal stab is ready well as i mentioned semi ready right uh, ready for inspection and uh, my uh, rudder i mean yeah well that's actually what the vertical stab <laughs> that's my rudder so my rudder is almost ready and we also have elevators somewhere nearby getting ready as well but definitely ready for inspection all right that's it that's all this video is at its end and i see you in the next video and hopefully weather gonna be better and i will be able to fly my airplane and show you some videos from the skies okay have fun everyone bye bye see you next video